Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about the Loki series on Disney Plus, which is doing really well for Disney Plus. Apparently, it's already its highest uh, first episode uh, for a new series uh, in terms of views. And look, I got some fan theories already, uh, thinking about it all ever since the first episode aired, and we only got two more days until the newest episode. Uh, I got some ideas on where this show might be going. Uh, some people I already know have similar ideas, because I've heard this uh, theory go around. Uh, but I want to broaden it a little bit more and uh, give my context on where I think it's going, uh, borrowing some ideas from other people. Uh, so let us get right into it. Of course, this involves the TVA. Loki is now under their custody. The TVA is the time variant uh, authority. <laughs> so I had my brother and my, my sister-in-law uh, set me straight. They, they said, David, you said association, it's authority. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, I forgot. I, I saw it early in the morning and I'm just doing it by memory. So I got it now, it's authority, okay? Uh, so let's get, so basically the time variant authorities, uh, they have Loki and I think this show is leading to the end of the TVA. I think Loki is either going to have to do two things by the end of this series. He's either going to destroy the TVA for good, or he's going to have to negotiate with them to allow multiple timelines to happen. Why? Let's go to what this series is about. At the at the beginning of this series, or at the end of the, the episode, we kind of got a really big hint of what this is all about. Loki is a, is a variant that, you know, he realizes his destiny is written in the stones, that he has to go a certain way no matter what, because it happens again and again and again, according to Owen Wilson. This series is all going to be about destiny. And if we choose our own paths or is destiny already written? And can we change our own paths if that's possible? And you think about it in everyday terms, in everyday life, like us ourselves. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. Does it go one way? Is it always determined to go that way? Or is there an alternate timeline, if you will, that goes a different way. We just don't know it. Uh, it feels like our lives are always determined in where we're going to go because we make those lives. I mean, we make those choices at those exact moments and then they happen. Right. And we if there's no for us. There's no turning back within the context of a TV show. It might be a little bit different. Obviously, it gives you an idea of. No, maybe we do make our own choices. Uh, we just don't see it that way. Um, I I think I think Loki is going to either destroy it or negotiate it. Now, if he destroys it, then the multiverse goes haywire, and then we get into Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which is uh, going to show us that. Um, there are rumors that the next Spider-Man movie we'll see that glitch in the in the multiverse is starting to happen. Um, I think if it doesn't end with him destroying it, because we do know that there is a season two of Loki happening. They already confirmed that months ago, that Loki season two is going to be a thing. So if the TVA has to continue, maybe, what, how is the alternative uh, scenario? Does Loki convince Owen Wilson, uh, Mobius, uh, that, hey, we got to let people decide their own paths? Doesn't matter what this multiverse does. Doesn't matter that that what that multiverse does. People got to make their own decisions in life. We You can't control people to go one way. We are people that make decisions and everybody deserves to have that right to make their own decisions in life and i think that's what the, the the message by the end of this is going to be it's it's pretty obvious i think that that's what the message is going to be so the time lords we know are possibly out there they mentioned them in that little cartoon uh some people are already presuming that king the conqueror is one of those time lords 
And Loki even asks them, where are they? I want to talk to them. And they said, no, 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 no. They're busy taking care of the timeline the way it needs to go. Now, uh, I was watching Screen Crush, and in that video, they said that in the comics, uh, the Time Lords are like protecting a certain timeline because there's something important in that timeline that they need so they can survive. That makes a lot of sense. I think it's also because the timeline that we've been following all this time is just the movie timeline, and that's why it's the sacred timeline. But for the, the show and the movie's sake, uh, let's say that, okay, let's say they're right and, and they're protecting it uh, maybe because of the same reason. Maybe Loki is going to have to kill the Time Lords, making one of them survive and then realizing, you know what, time to destroy the main timeline too and just restart everything. Maybe that's why Kang the Conqueror is going to be in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania to reset everything from scratch. Who knows? I mean, that's a huge possibility now as well. Um, I could be totally wrong about that. We don't even know if Kang the Conqueror was one of those characters, those Time Lords, but that's the fan theory going around that it's a possibility. And so if it is, are we going to see them by the end of the season? I think we are going to see the Time Lords by the end of the season. Uh, one actor, Richard uh, E. Grant, is going to be part of this season. Uh, he is well known. He was actually in one of the Star Wars movies, the last one, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, he could be one of the Time Lords. I think he's old enough. Some people think he's going to be a different version of Loki. That's a possibility as well, but I think there's a better chance of him being one of those Time Lords that we, we could possibly see. Um, if I had to guess right now whether the TVA will be destroyed or whether it will uh, be convinced to join Loki to allow the timelines to just go any way they want, to allow the multiverse to happen, I'm going to presume it's going to be that, that uh, he is going to use the TVA, convince them to allow them to let whatever happens to the multiverse, let it happen. Like, don't reset anything. Just let the multiverse be what it is and see what comes out of it. And maybe uh, Loki maybe Loki will be one of the Time Lords by the end of it and he'll get to kind of rule the multiverse. How crazy would that be? Um, yeah, I, I think that's what it's going to turn out to be, guys. I think Loki, by the end of this series... Now, maybe my mind is going to change when I see episode two or episode three. Uh, that's the whole point of fan theories is that they're always evolving and changing. But don't worry because I'm going to have a final fan theory video right before the final episode to see if my final uh, tally uh, comes true. My final predictions come true, if you will. Uh, so leave down your predictions in the comment section below. Guys, what do you think is going to happen by this point in time? Do you like tell me now? I want to know what other people are thinking. Uh do you think the TVA is going to be destroyed by the end of this series or, or season? Or do you think uh, Loki's going to team up with them and convince them to let the multiverse happen? Somehow, this is all going to lead into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, I also believe that What If is going to be the beginning of that multiverse, that we're going to see all the different multiverses with the What If series. Uh and uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, or No Way Home, will obviously also be uh, that uh, part of that as well, because we know that that's going to be connected also. Uh, so with that being said, guys, I have to thank my Patreon supporters. Of course, I have Patreon supporters. I have a Patreon page, uh, patreon.com slash David Jordeo, where you can go and help support this channel by either don't donating a five dollar subscription or a ten dollar subscription uh, i think most people will pick the five dollar one because it's more affordable and everybody's struggling i get that look i'm not i'm not presuming anybody to subscribe uh but the more the merrier right now i have three subscribers i just got a third subscriber today uh one of my regular viewers uh kennedy uh thank you so much uh along with uh gamer x 9000 and lucy 55 uh you guys are so much help 
uh, to this channel. Uh, the more the merrier. Um, uh, I, you know, when I started the Patreon page, I wasn't expecting a lot of people uh, to, to help out and support. Uh, I, I was actually scared that nobody was going to. And uh, well, three is like better than nothing. That was already it's more than what I was expecting. And when I saw a third uh, person sign up to subscribe today, I was like, what? This is amazing. So thank you very much for your support to this channel. Uh, you guys will be uh, getting a uh, credit at the end of each video that I do. Although I, I kind of want to put the credits up at the front of the video so people can see because I feel by this point, some people leave the video without seeing this part. And this is the most important part to me because these are the people that matter uh, to my channel now the most. Uh, so thank you very much once again, and uh, hopefully you guys continue to be supporters as we move forward, and hopefully more supporters uh, can come and uh, subscribe to the Patreon page as well. I hope to grow it. For me to concentrate on YouTube as my sole uh, driving force, uh, I would need, and I'm nowhere near there, 450 subscribers. Uh, in order for me to concentrate just on uh, doing these YouTube videos. Uh, right now, YouTube for me is a side venture. It's a, it's a side thing that I do for fun. Um, but I do want to focus a lot more on it, but it won't happen unless I get more subscribers. Uh, $5 uh, is the most I'm asking for, but if you can donate 10, that will help me even a little bit further. Uh, first of all, I also want to say if you're younger than 18, please ask your parents first. Don't, I, I don't want to get you in trouble with your parents. Uh, if you are 18 and over, then you know what to do. It's, it's your money. You know what to do. And any little bit helps this channel. And I, I am really grateful for that. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, with that being said, guys, <laughs> thank you uh, for watching this video. And I hope you guys can like that button because that also helps this channel. If you can't donate, at least like every video that you see. And watching these videos also helps uh, as well. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, everybody, take care.